Alright man, so I'm doing a movie review on the shittiest movie that I've seen in a long time and it was called Alien Covenant and it sucks because I was so excited to see this movie. I even took two of my friends and I was so excited. I was like, God, this looks like it's gonna be good. You know, I wanna bring it back. So they had me. They still got me from Aliens 2. They still got me from Aliens 2, okay? I still pledge of allegiance to that badass Aliens 2. So the franchise still got me. So I took my friends who have never even seen Aliens. My friend thought it was a joke. He's like, what are you guys you do? You ever seen Aliens? What the fuck? Where have you been? You're my age. Like, what the fuck? So anyway, we get there. I pay for the tickets because they don't know. I'm like, don't worry about it. Thank God I paid for the tickets because they had to sit through this shit of a movie where you keep thinking, all right, all right, and it's just a bunch of fluff. But it's a bunch of like, what in the hell are you doing? Why? Like, it starts off right away with this spaceship. Cool graphics, awesome graphics, dude, right? It's floating through space. They got a little error. So it opens up, these cute solar panels come out. And then one of the solar panels tears. And there's like a 10 minute scene of them repairing the fucking cell. Why? Why? I understand you got that. You don't really need to show us him going out there. And like the whole time I'm like, ooh, something's cool gonna happen. Nothing happened. They just repaired the little cell. And it was a waste of time. And there's like a couple of jokes with the funny dude that's from Eastbound and Down, Danny McBride. Yeah, that dude. But you're like waiting for something, man. Never show, so you're like, all right, maybe they're getting my suspense, you know. So anyway, they get to this planet that's close to, you know, supposed to be there. Look, this is what they're doing. They're looking to colonize humans, so they're carrying a bunch of DNA. They're carrying a bunch of stuff, and they're going to colonize a planet. That's their whole thing. They're in hypersleep. I get it. They find another planet, and so everything that's planned, they decide, ah, oh, let's just go to this planet. Fuck it. So they go to the planet. They land. They get there. Dude, he goes in there while they're traveling and they're looking. He hits a little sport thing. It gets in him. Next thing you know, dude is sick. Right? And I'm like, all right, here it goes. Here we go. This is, gonna, this is how it happens. You know, they get the spore. They get the little thing. Action's going to start, right? So I'm getting all excited. This dude starts dying. He's like turning black. He's turning like blue. He's disgusting. Cause the alien's about to pop out his chest, right? I'm all excited. I'm like, yeah, let's get this show on the road. So, finally, the guy's like sick. He's dying. And this alien pops out of his fucking chest, of course, you know. And he comes on this white alien. And he's like, rrr, rrr. he starts from this little alien. And he's like growing right in front of their eyes, right? All this is going down. They're trying to shoot it. He chomps off to one of the androids' hands. And, and it's, it's like, it's going down. You're kind of like, all right, this is how it starts, right? So, the thing it, it it ends, it ends up taking off, right? And the, the body is laying there. Fucked up. Its chest is blown up. The guy was throwing up. He's fucking it's disgusting. Just got his insides eaten up. And one of the other dudes goes in to fucking make out with him. He wanted to fucking make out with him. And I'm like, I have no problems with homosexuals. I have no problems with none of that. But dude... Why would you want to touch that? I would burn that fucking body. And why is that important to put in the aliens? Why? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? You putting that in? So that's... It was just... I didn't, The only reason I knew he actually tried to go in for a kiss because it made no sense in my brain is because we were in Mexico watching the movie and the subtitles said Mi Amor because I was... <laughs> I looked at my friend who was sitting next to me I'm like What the... What the what the fuck did he, but we both saw a more. I was like, did he just say my love and tried to kiss this dude who's all disgusted and blown up? You should burn his body, jump on the damn jet, and get the fuck out. But they can't, because the other person was on the jet, you know, he blew up and there was a fight scene and the bitch was so stupid she blew up the whole fucking plane. God damn, it was just horrible, man. But I'm just like trying to roll with it because it's fiction. So I'm like, all right, man, that's how they do. Anyways, his, that didn't top the worst scene of the movie. The worst scene of the movie 
I don't know why it was even in there, right? So anyway, this other guy comes. He ends up being another android, a little you know, the robot man, you know. So he shoots something, and he scares the little alien. And the alien runs off. And like, okay, we'll see you later. So now there's two little aliens running around. And uh, so they go back to this guy's uh, little fort or whatever. And uh, it's, there's two androids. One, mind you, just got his fucking hand chopped off. By the alien, literally, you know, they did the whole hand chopping off with the white milky sustenance that they always have in the movie. You're like, okay, they're trying to keep it true. So you get like, all right, this something's gonna happen. This guy's on the island by this guy's on the planet by himself. And so then uh, there's a scene between the two androids. Now he's the old android, and I guess he had feelings and stuff, and he was a little weird. Well, anyway, this android was taking away feelings, and so there's a scene where they're in the room, and there's a flute. And then the other android, they look just like each other, too. So that guy was just creeping everybody out. So he just creepily creeps up behind the other android. The other android's like, I don't know why, he's like looking like he's a fucking deer in the headlights, right? Like, oh, I don't know. It felt like that, though. It felt like your uncle, you know, was in the room and he was about to do some molestation on you and you're like a 12 year old boy or something. You know what I'm saying? It felt like, what the fuck's going on, right? Yeah, so you're kind of like, what's wrong with it? Trying to build a bad character, I guess. And he picks up the flute because he's looking at the flute. And he goes, Do you play? I'll teach you. Mind you, this fool's only got one hand. You know what I'm saying? I can be a one hand flutist. What the fuck is this important? Why is this important? It made no sense. So he blows in the flute. There's a little ditty, right? And then it's just awkward because I just stared at him. He's like, oh, my operation was not to do that. And he was like, well, I'll show you. It's easy. Just blow into the tip. And he's holding, the whole time he's holding it to him, like, like a, just a big, giant, fucking erect penis. You know what I mean? Blow into the flute. Yes. And then he's like, so he blows into the flute, right? It's like this remote right here. Like, blow into the flute. He's holding it for him. The whole time he's holding it for him. He's like, ooh, ooh. He's like, that's it. Now, blow into the tip while I finger the holes. I was, I was like, what the fuck is going I looked around the movie theater. A couple of people laughed. Because I was like, Come on, man. Come on, man. Really? This is what they're doing to aliens? This dude is teaching the other dude how to blow on a flute? Come on, man. Man, it was just so unnecessary. It was so unnecessary. Uh, just a blow on the flute scene? It was, it was, they just ruined it, man. They ruined the whole thing. Then they had the, uh, they had another sex scene between the heterosexual people. I don't know what happened. That motherfucker got his chest eaten through. And again. Then I was like, that's what I'm talking about. Just straight murder and shooting. But by the time the, the, uh, the, the, the whole thing went down, man, it gave you about like five minutes of action. The movie was done. He used a big robot. It was so cliche. It was so dumb that don't waste your time, your breath, your energy to go see that movie. Okay? Don't. Just being real.